Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazleton with MobileBurn.com. Today we're here checking out the new T-Mobile HTC HD7. It's a device that should launch later this year on T-Mobile. Quickly we'll look at the hardware, then we'll go through some of the uh, new Windows Phone 7 features. Here you have a, a large screen. It's a 4.3 inch touch screen. Uh, I believe it's 800 by 480 pixels. Here's the back of the device. That's a 5 megapixel camera with a dual LED uh, flash there and hold on let me see if I can get the kickstand out for you and it does have a kickstand too so we could put it on a table like so if you wanted to watch uh, movies or something like that so very cool little feature there you have the Windows Phone labeling on the bottom we have a micro USB charging slot as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack the lighting's a little bad and there we go. See that? And you see the nice, um, shiny metal finish along the sides, kind of a chrome look. There's a camera quick launch key there. The volume controls up and down. There you have a power button on the back. And there's nothing on the left side there. See the front of the phone? We have a return key, a Windows button, and a search key. Well, let's start looking through some of the software features of Windows Phone 7. Okay, here you can see we're. We have uh, some default tiles here on Windows Phone 7. Netflix is included, as is Slacker Radio and T-Mobile TV. That's a new feature. Uh, T-Mobile, I believe, said they're going to offer 10 free channels with it, and you can get more. So, take quickly took a look at that. We'll go to the video tour. 30-day free trial also. So you can see there's a quick uh, splash video of all the features that will come with T-Mobile TV. The return button and then we can hit the home button to go back to the home screen. Here's people. This is the contacts on Windows Phone 7. Scroll through a list. You can also scroll right or left to see what's new. So we don't have Facebook set up but it would give you their most recent updates. And if you click one you can uh, see their update and then comment on it as well. You can see the screen's very highly reflective. Sorry about that. Here's uh, the most recent contacts, contacts rather, so you can click one, call their mobile, send them a message, uh, and view notes. One of the contacts, for example, I believe it was this one, likes sushi. Big sushi fan. You can see it says at the bottom there. See so if you click the pin. It allows you to pin them to the home screen. Here you have Telenav GPS. This is HTC Hub. Let's check that out. These are some of the featured apps on the phone. You're getting the weather. For different locations here, you can see there's Tokyo. It's night there. You can click stocks to view your stocks. Looks like that feature's off. Okay, now we'll back on the home screen. If you hold something down like so, that's the Hotmail. You can move the tile around adjust its location. So there we just moved Hotmail uh, to a new location just below where it was. We'll click Hotmail now and I'll show you the email interface. Here you can see the most recent messages with a bit of a preview for each. Slide right to go to unread, to urgent, and to all. Click a message. Here we have Anne. Shows her image. The message and here's the attachment. So we'll open the JPEG file and there's the picture right there. That lower button there allows us to save it to the phone or save as wallpaper. See how zippy the interface here. This has a one gigahertz processor inside. Netflix also comes on board of the HD7 here. <clears throat> this is Netflix streaming support. This is uh, available currently on iOS and uh, 
on the iPod Touch and those other iOS devices right now, but we haven't seen it yet on other platforms. So here you can see we have different genres. Monster Quest. It's sort of like the Zune interface here. We can go left and right to view the rest of our information. Hit that for a home screen again. I'll show you the messaging interface. You can see it's threaded texts here. The nice blue bubbles. I was texting earlier. It was very easy to use this keyboard. You can see the autocorrect pops up. And even just one handed here, I've never used this before. I was able to quickly fire off a text. It's also a landscape keyboard here. You can see it's wide. Also, uh, would be easy to use. I was typing on it earlier, but uh, hard to do one handed here with the camera. Okay, here we are with Mobile Burns home page loaded. See it pans around very quickly. Also switches into landscape mode. There's pinch to zoom, support a little hard to do one handed. You can see it's very smooth. You just click the link there. And uh, rather quick at loading too. Here's the Nokia N8 review that we had posted on our website. Got some of the web browser's options here. Bottom of the page, you can click to add a favorite. You can see oh, that is it. You can also star a page. Here are the favorites, or access your favorites rather, as well as your history. Also, sort of that zoom like interface. And here's to add multiple windows. So, if you wanted to, you could add then a new window. Go back to the home screen. Check out the search button here. This is automatic Bing search. Search pizza. folks inside. Thank you. No problem. And here you can see popped up the closest pizza places uh, near our location. There's also the ability to search uh, pizza in the news just across the web and then back to local. If we click a listing, uh, it shows us it's spot on a map. Let's see if the screen's really bright here. <clears throat> as well as ratings, reviews, and the phone number. Here's a review. It says uh, somebody says it's worth visiting if you're hungry and limited on time. Back to the home page. Show you the calendar. Here you can see uh, the calendars listings each spot here this will also automatically tell you if you have conflicts uh, when an email comes in uh, if you, with a time and date and you already have something planned at that time and there's also agenda view here so lunch at noon pick up the kids at 6 a.m. here's the full calendar back to agenda view when you click a date if you want to add an event, you can include the location, uh, the account that you want to include, how long the event is, and more. If we click more details, you can also show uh, how often it occurs. Add people to your event. Make it private or add notes as well. Xbox Live is also a part of Windows Phone 7. You don't have games here, but it shows your player profile. You can uh, join to add friends uh, that you also have on Xbox Live. And here are some games. It's like uh, some small games and compete uh, with friends, and your character will uh, then earn these gamer points here, just like sort of on Xbox 360. Check out the pictures. view all pictures Let's see how quick this uh, interacts turn it sideways for full screen 
So pretty neat. Let's check out office. Whoops. So here's one note, but we can also uh, create new documents for Excel, Word, PowerPoint, or a product. Open Word here. There's directions on how to get started, sharing your documents, etc. So here we are, we can just type at the top. Bring that a little closer for you. There you go. So very clear, uh, again with the keyboard, looks like it would be um, very easy to type a quick document out. You can see uh, this RSS and the, oh, the battery signal strength and stuff are appearing on the left hand side of the phone. <clears throat> Go back to the home screen, I'll show you some more features. Here we have uh, again our contacts that we added, quick contacts here. When you tap one their name pops down. There's the GPS. Here's the marketplace. We'll show you some of the apps. So here you can swipe across again to view the featured apps. Xbox Live apps. Go to games. Accidentally grabbed music there. So here are the uh, available games. Out flowers. Let's see how this works. Oh, we don't have the password for this, so you can see just how fast this phone is. I think I've said it before, but it's a one gigahertz processor and it's a very responsive. Go to music and videos and show you the Zune player here. So we don't have anything loaded just yet. You need to connect to your PC, so it'll work with the Zune Pass. Here's a demo video. Going right there. How are you? Okay. See again, we don't have TV or music installed just yet on this, but if you've used the Zoom player before, a very familiar looking podcast. One of those. And uh, it looks like there's also an FM radio on this, so if you plug in a headset, you'll be able to scan stations like so. Pretty uh, cool feature there. Let's see if we can go through T-Mobile and go through some of the other events here. We have call history. Let's see, this is, looks like voicemail. Okay, so you can call the voicemail just by hitting the bottom of the screen there. Uh, and more on a person. Okay, everyone, so that's a quick look here at the HTC HD7. This is on T-Mobile. Uh, I don't believe a price or an announcement date has been made yet, uh, but it will keep you updated as that comes uh, along. That's a quick look here. This is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com.